I will never buy duct tape again. Ever. Hi guys, welcome to my favorite memories craft table where we bring inspiration, imagination, help you create memories and total fails. Absolutely, no doubt about it, total fails. Yep, that is what today is all about. I tried. I tried. I really did. One of the simplest little kids craft around and I failed. I took a little craft that should have been for any any child uh, age three and up and turned it into a hazardous Uh, skin peeling, words you can't use, not even an adult would do craft. Yeah, but that's just me. And I thought maybe you'd like to see what happened. So, grab your coffee, your tea, Grab your drink, sit back, relax, and get ready to chuckle. This is my fail. This is how not to make maracas. Alright, I've seen the picture on Pinterest. I gathered all my stuff. I needed eggs, tape, spoons, scissors, hot glue, and of course the little things to put inside to make it rattle. I am prepared. Super simple. Yeah. Well, we'll see. In goes the little beads to make it rattle. Easy enough closes up and it rattles. One problem, the egg likes to pop open all by itself. So what do you do when that happens? What every normal crafter would do. You put hot glue on it. Yep. Hot glue fixes everything. Hold it together. Keep the fingers out, Bonna. Keep the fingers. Not gonna happen. Okay, so we stick our fingers in the hot glue. Uh, what's one layer of skin or so? And of course we spread it all over the egg. No big deal. Now we notice on the back, there's this little thing that sticks out. Oh, that could be a problem. What do we do? We cut it off. Yes, we cut off the little plastic piece that connected the eggs and held it together. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. So, hot glue. Always fix it with hot glue. And guess what? Wait for it. There she goes. And that's layer of skin number two. And more spreading all over the egg. Yes, the egg will never come apart because it is coated in hot glue. Well, 
the egg is holding together. And now, do you see that color? That is black and red plaid. And yes, I'm using black and red plaid tape on a purple egg. I, I, I'm without words and I don't do it once, but I do it twice. So now we have a beautifully color coordinated egg, solidly put together, rattles like a charm, taped expertly. Now we have to figure out the spoon puzzle. Getting the egg to fit in the little spoons and hold. That's the key to hold. So one way might do it and maybe the other way I'll do it. But, hmm, what's the guaranteed fix all? Yeah, you guessed it. We're gonna hot glue it. And yes, I'm not gonna disappoint you right off the bat. Watch it. There it is. Yep. Finger actually glued to the end. Well, I've lost count on, on how many layers of skin, but the spoons are holding and the egg kind of fits, maybe. Uh, there we go. Yes, the egg fits. So, test it out. Doesn't fit very well. It slides quite well, it slides. So, guess what we're gonna do? And oh, my fingers hurt already. There goes number one. And here it comes. I'm trying to hold it back. Oh, no. Yeah, that one hurt. So we go right back for it. Oh, by the way, you can never have enough hot glue on something. Ever. Do you guys remember the duct tape phase that went around a couple years ago? Well, I, I actually hated it. And tonight, I remembered why. Talk about losing layers of skin. And then, like a dummy, I try to cut it with regular scissors. Yeah. Not happening. So we are off to a really, really good start. Maybe. First, I have to figure out where it goes. What to do with it. Um, I don't know.
Looks like a good spot to me. Let's go with it. Right here. At this very moment, I should have quit. Right then and there. I should have said, oh, that looks good. Put it down and walked away. But no, not me. I have to fiddle and fiddle. And can you tell I'm getting frustrated? Yeah. So, no more hot glue? We're gonna use this wonderful tape. And I can't even get my scissors open, but we're gonna use this tape. Fun wow. Okay, to spare you and myself the memories of watching me cover this thing in layers and layers of tape. I am going to speed this up and I will say now I am sorry. But I hope you found out how not to make these super simple, just adorable little maracas. And um, I am sorry to say there will be no maracas made today. Have a good one. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye now.